Hey Team V, welcome back to V Rule. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I am going to be opening up a couple decks. Learn to play together in the Let's Play Pokemon trading card game. Pikachu and Eevee. Now, the way I received it was like super damaged and open, and it was like, oh my gosh, what the heck? So I submitted for a return, and I got one that was super damaged and open, and I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck? So I just kept it. Because <laughs> it was like, forget this, you know? Um, so this one was pretty much open. I think it might have been bumped open just to me moving it around my office a little bit. Uh, so there's that. Packaging's not everything, although what the heck is going on here? So we have two, uh, what are these? Hey, quick start rules, okay. So it's probably one for each player so that we can kind of sift through, you know how to do it. It's just about the gameplay and learning how to do it. So it's a starter deck for two and then you guys can play against one another and actually I think they're left in order. So if you are thinking about learning to play the game and you really wanna start at the beginning, maybe, maybe you're watching this and your kids are interested in it and you're wanting to play with them uh, or you know, you are, just new to the game and you want to learn how to play this might be a cool option to set up but just don't do what a lot of people do often and start by you know opening everything up <laughs> and then seeing what kind of stuff you get there so let me let me get the junk out of here holy goodness <laughs> everything just came up crumbling down that's all right <clears throat> that's part of the fun so let me get this packaging out of the way because it's just a hot mess. You get a coin for each of them. Pikachu, Pikachu. And an Eevee, right? So you get the two coins there. You get these hollow crack ice hollows, as we call them, uh, of Pikachu and Eevee. And sometimes they come curved, which is, I think, a bonus. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually just, you know, the nature of some of these products. They end up coming that way. I'm sleeving these, even though actually I believe they belong in the deck. Uh, you'll have a code card, looks like, for each of the decks, and those will be easy to play online. Let me see what other contents we have here. Um, we have some damage counters here, so that way you can track uh, the damage that you do to one another's Pokemon. Uh, it looks like there's a couple things. What is this? What are you? What are you? Oh, it's a big old poster! It's got Eevee. It's got Pikachu. It's got a little display here for the Eevee deck so that way you can do your bench your prize cards there your active Pokemon will go up towards the top there your deck and your discard pile so this is literally the layout for your Eevee deck when you're playing and I'm guessing just a hunch that this is gonna be the same exact thing only featuring our favorite little yellow monster Pikachu so there we go and again yeah same pictures so that's cool. You get a play mat for each side so that we can lay out your deck appropriately. And let's just start with the Eevee deck. Take a look at it here. So they claim that, oh, you get a deck box, but it's like, it's yeah, you get cardboard. Okay. It is a deck box. It's a place to put your cards. That's fine. Hey, we're going to sleeve the hollows. That's what we do. So let me sleeve the hollows. We've got an Eevee in there. Oh my goodness. We got a few hollows in here. Let me get them sleeved. That's a Moltres. And another that's very cool so I don't know if this is to stay in this order or not there that is a thing in some of the earlier starter decks that uh, not earlier but earlier in your gameplay starter decks uh, where you, they'd have you keep it in order Flareon those are promos and energy I think they are meant to stay in order um, because the energies are kind of intermittent there Charizard you get a Charizard in here folks that's cool. Kangaskhan, Panseer, Panseer, yes, okay. Charmander, obviously. If you're gonna have a Charizard, you gotta have a Charmander. You gotta have a Charmeleon in here somewhere too then, right? Because they evolved. Another Charizard, two Charizards, that's some fire. That Charmeleon's pretty cool looking. Um, yeah, so keep them in order. Do not shuffle the cards if you plan on learning to play. Um, because it's going to walk you through step-by-step step, drawing your cards it's all pre-planned and it actually matches the booklet so unless somebody packed it wrong in the factory which would be hysterical um, not really maybe but <laughs> it kind of would uh, then keep them in order 
those cards are curved and then with the sleeves they're curved even more so perhaps i don't want to leave the sleeved cards in there i don't plan on playing this deck actually so no no big deal but i am going to sleeve those hollows i mean that's just a good makes good sense so you have one ev hollow in the actual deck and then one on the display in the front so that's pretty cool and two hollow motris so that's pretty neat you start off with getting some some cool cards for your collection there in the Eevee box. Pikachu is going to be similar, I'm sure. We're going to see same kind of thing. Yep, another Pikachu. And what do we get? Raikou for the Hollow. That's cool, two of those. Let me set them aside. Raichu, Pidgey, Blitzel, Pokemon something, Catcher, Voltorb, Professors. Hey, there's the Pikachu. Cool little artwork on that switch potion all sorts of stuff the things you need for a deck to kind of have a good little gameplay actually you know what i may play this deck uh, i might <laughs> might see if i can rope my wife into it <laughs> uh, she really wouldn't want to she's not a fan of the of the game i don't even know if she's subscribed to the channel speaking of which have you subscribed to the channel i i think i think i owe you a little something if you're going to subscribe because just looking at these decks is one thing i open cards that's what i do okay so i think i owe you that let's open a few packs i've pulled them out for you wanted to be able to have something fresh because the decks they're listed they're listed on the exterior of the package that you can see exactly what you're going to get uh, so it's not like a big surprise or anything like that. You should be expecting that to be the contents within. If I can just lift this up, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Um, so it's it's listed on the box and everything, and that's, you know, fine. So you know what you're getting there. It's like the theme decks, you know. You know what you're going to get in a theme deck. But we never know what's going to come in a booster pack. And I have four here. Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain, and Fusion Strike. So let's get into those and see... What kind of stuff we get? Because again, you never know what's gonna happen. Battle styles. Oh man, could we could we just blow everybody's mind and get the chase on that one? Could we just do that? That'd be so wonderful and great. I think that'd be phenomenal to just get the chase card, which, in my book, is the full alt art of the Tyranitar. Reverse Hollow. Oh man, non hollow rare. So not only are we not getting the chase card. We ain't getting nothing. <laughs> That's all right. Can't expect to win them all. Vivid Voltage. Vivid Voltage, you have those amazing rares. Those kind of come out of nowhere. Uh, so you never know what's going to happen on that. You have the amazing rares you could pull out. You have the, the big old Chunkachu Rainbow Pikachu VMAX there that is in the set. Oh my gosh, that'd be a beauty. No amazing rare today. And oh my goodness, no hollow or anything energy there's a lichen rock for the rare chilling rain will you be nicer to us maybe give me the alt art on that uh galarian moltres oh my gosh that that one right there would be beautiful to pull chilling rain i feel like just doesn't have the greatest lineup but a few of those chase cards are really pretty darn sweet looking so let's see what we can do here team v Sveal, swirlix galarian you mask Cast from Sunny Form, Inke, and oh, another non holo rare with a Glade. And we have our energy Haunter, Doctor, Celio, Fusion Strike. Last pack magic. Can we do it? Can we do it with that bolt on the pack there? Let's just see. Let us see here. Team V, let's see what we can do. I'm just going to go four to the front. And we're going to see about that electric energy. Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> Didn't happen. Ah, okay, here we go. Let's just see if we can get something. Bug catcher. Troxel. Totodile. Come on. Bunnery. Last pack magic. Something here. Clubopus. Oh, my goodness. Zoro, Zoro rack. And, hey, fear, fear Legator for the hollow rare. It is something, okay? We did something out of all those packs. We got a hollow rare. Fear the Gator. Too bad it's my third one. Um, but that's okay. That's the name of the game. And now we know how to go play the game. We have all the information to hit these two decks and go have a good time and, you know, try to learn the whole trading card game. Because it is a game. It's not just a collectible. So we'll see you next time, Team V. Hopefully with a little more fire and a little more fun. Stay cool out there.